of these strikes are probably going to end up going through the down conductor. That's the goal. I mean, probably, or I should, I, yeah, that's the goal, <laughs> but most of them are probably going to go there by way of the receptor, yeah. you'd yes. hope. So, is the receptor itself, is that a weak or strong link in that chain? It's actually a, a weak link in the chain I th because the receptor is actually uh, handling a lot of the the lightning energy lightning energy is coming in on the receptor so there's a lot of heat from the actual lightning channel on the receptor so the receptors are pretty much always getting hot because there's thermal effects from the lightning channel and being close that close or to the lightning channel which is roughly 10,000 mm -hmm. degrees celsius so a lot of that it, it, in a metal structure it'll get hot just because of the connection so the receptor is going to get hot, and the structure around that, the composite structure around that, is going to get hot also. Uh, but usually out towards the tip, there's not a lot of st structure there, not, not a lot of load-bearing structure there. So it is less critical. What's more critical is you go, kind of go down towards the root of the blade, if that's where a lot of load is. So if you're getting that structure warm down towards the bottom, that's going to have implications further on. So uh, if we track lightning strikes to blades or just uh, I track just blades breaking, right? Because some of these blades that I think are breaking in the field, particularly if they have carbon fiber in them, is that the, there's lightning energy either sparking to the carbon fiber or the carbon fiber is taking some of that energy and, it, and it's getting the resin system hot. It's not immediately breaking when the lightning strike happens, but it, it's, it's weakening the blade. And then it, as the surface life continues and continues and continues, those weaknesses become exaggerated to become failure points and things break. So that's what you're trying to gotcha. avoid is that you've damaged it or weakened it. It's not going to fail immediately, but because of the loading and the unloading and the loading and the unloading and all the flexing and bending that's going to happen, you fatigue it. You basically fatigue 